todos a Toy Break, episodio 301. Mm. Eh, yo soy Eileen. Me llamo Jorge. Y man, Baby Root. Este se llama Wenceslao. Wenceslao. Este sí. Eh, bueno, mm -hmm. eh, para todos los que mm -hmm. no saben qué es Toy Break, mm -hmm. es el programa semanal en donde nosotros traemos así el mundo redondito de todos los juguetes, entrevistas, reseñas, triques, traques, mm -hmm. todos los artistas mm -hmm. y todo lo que tiene que ver con el mundo de los juguetes. Mm -hmm. Y ahora, como cada semana, les vamos a decir quiénes son nuestros patrocinadores. A mis pantalones. Ay, entonces quién fue? ¿Qué te comiste? Ay, este güey. Tengo frío, tienes un sarape. Un sarape. Ay, güey. Estamos grabando en Spanish. Aguanta. There we go. That's better. Okay. Let's get on with the show. Do we have Nate? Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, that's all the Spanish I know. Do we have a contest going on right now, George? We do. It's the Sket One Mad L contest. You can win this burp, purple Pacon <laughs> Chase Mad L designed by Sket One, which was randomly inserted into Wizard Sleeve Toys order in 2010. Um, just head over to the contest section on toybreak.com and post about a toy from the past that you wish you could get now. Deadline is April 16th. And did you know that that purple glows in the dark? I did. And did you know that wizard sleeve is another word for vagina? What? Really? <laughs> what? Entertaining. I heard it on another <laughs> podcast and I was like, wait, wizard sleeve toys? That's dirty. <laughs> I've Explicit never tag. heard that in so my earned. life. Dirty I, nerds. I don't know. Dirty nerds. Dirtynerds.com. <laughs> Is that a thing? That is I gotta now. go check now. <laughs> we also have a few donations we need to thank people for. We have Gareth from the UK, Emil from California, Jillian from Canada, Ken from Florida, Frank from Georgia, Bethany from Florida, Shannon from Oklahoma, and Thomas from New Mexico. So thank you so much. Yay! That Every is dollar. all over the place. Isn't that awesome? East coast, west coast, but right no, in the I middle. Don't. Damn you, I know. <laughs> all right, let's get into some news. Up first, we have Golden Age Guardians. These are are by CKRT Lab Toys. It's kind of hard to say. Circuit, 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 lab, circuit lab. These are five and a half inch PVC figures with six points of articulation. There are four different weapons, uh, and Wave One includes two different figures: American Crusader and the Black Terror. Uh, each are limited to 300 pieces, but there's also a newsreel black and white version of each one limited to 100 pieces, and of course you can get the blank white figures, which are limited to 400 pieces. All of them, 20 bucks each at ckrtlabtoys.com. Kirkert Lab. Circuit Kirkert Lab. There they are. Circuit Kirkert Lab. So heroic. Okay. <laughs> awesome. How about Emoji Cat? This is by Chase Root. It's an Indiegogo project to create hand-painted 8.5 centimeter cat figures with three points of articulation and interchangeable emoticon faces. Campaign ends 420. Centimeters. Do you think he planned the 420? Uh, it's not a weed-related project, so I, I don't know. Yeah, no, probably not. That's right around someone's birthday that I know. Whose birthday mm. could that be? Whose birthday could that be? Is it it's Hitler's? It's not mine. Because I think 420 is Hitler's birthday, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's a day to celebrate, then. <laughs> Why would... Who cares? And guy's been dead Charlotte forever. Bronte's birthday is the next day, on April 21st. Who else's birthday is on that day? Another Bronte? <laughs> it's my birthday. How about the Rainy Day Antagonist? By Christopher Avalos, a.k.a. Evilos. See what he did there? Oh, Four-inch tall DIY resin figure. The project ends May 5th. It's on Kickstarter. Look up Rainy Day Antagonist or click the link in the show notes Kick. at toybreak.com. Sweet. Now, Nate. Yes. This See? is both news, reviews, and everything in between. What'd you bring? Did you bring I, things to show us? I brought so many things. Do Squid Kids have new things happening? New things. Tell us why you have some new things happening. WonderCon is coming up. Yes, it is. April 18th it starts. I was wondering when wondering. that was. Wondering. So let's see. What, what do we start with? Let's Nothing. start with a large Tendo. 
Indeed. Dun, Who dun, makes dun. these? I do. Me. All right, so we've had a lot of the little, uh, the mini Nintendo, yep. mini Tendos recently. This, so. This is the last of the original designs that I'm releasing. So I'll probably do more what? in the future, but this is the last one from the last, the batch of. From the original batch. Yeah. That's so cool. And this one's squib themed. It's called Squibs. They came from under space. Because ties... water. It's not water. Oh. Secrets. <gasps> under space. It, it ties into Dealing the story that I'm developing. And if I ever get it fully developed, you'll see more. You need to get off your butt and fully <laughs> develop that. We need the to stuff know that you've space. seen or stuff that I've seen I in know. your sketchbooks. It, it, I like it. It's just... Wait, does, Baby uh, does underspace exist in my underwear? No. Oh. I bet it does, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> There's but squibs in my underwear? Can, can I see what, the, what yes. the cool back image is? Nice. <laughs> I'm not going to show it. You have to go to WonderCon Secrets. to see it. So, so how much only, is this guy going to be? He's uh, going to retail for 35 like every all the others. But we're only doing 50 of them. And oh, he's nice. big. Yeah, he's the, the big, tall guy. And then, uh, yeah. And it kind of shows the the blue guy, and I got more new squib sculpts. So this guy is a new design, so cute. a revised design of the squib, because it, it shows more how I draw them than like the old sculpt I I did. Just I just sculpted it essentially. I did a quick sketch and sculpted it, and this yeah. and it's evolved over the past four years or more. I can't That's remember. That's designs too, yeah. yeah. So this is more, I guess, what I want him to look like now and how he's going to look like in the future. So this is uh, cast resin by Mana Studios. So he's blue cast, and then I'm painting the eyes in and some of the ink all around him. This is very close to 550. Yeah, I, this is one of my favorite blues to make stuff in. So It looks very, I'm happy with it. very similar to like straight silicone yeah when, yep. when it's mixed up but uh yeah so there's that guy and then this is the other version of him i don't know if you can see him on the absolutely table. Do, do, do. i love this guy i oh. think this guy's cute that won't but happen this guy's even happen. better his arms will probably be glued in because they are just resin i hope to actually do production at some point this guy incredible i mean they're both really cute yeah. Something about like his little, his little butt. butt and everything. I just butt. love it. Duck butt. It is a duck butt. But in production, I, I do hope to make them interchangeable. So you can take this head, put it on that body, maybe do other oh, bodies. Great. You can mix and match colors. Not that that would. I don't know if that's going to look great. If you I don't know like if that a, makes sense or not. Red, but it <laughs> would with similar colors. Yeah. Um, but I hope to do different arm positions, different body positions. And but, I would just love to feel these guys in vinyl. Yeah. That'd be really cool. So this guy holds his pencils. Yes. Which well, could be your pencils. Yeah. Could hold. I might include some pencils. In oh. There. These are actually old pencils that I used probably in school. So I have, Holy cow. I, I have a bunch of short pencils that I'll probably include with. I'm only making 10 of those, 10 of these. Oh, super limited. Yeah. And you get a little history of Squid Kids. You get a little Nate little, history little, with, uh, with the pencils. Souvenir. The souvenir pencils of Nate's history. Yeah. So how much Who can you Who knows what they've drawn. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because he won't publish it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Um, so how much are these guys going to be at WonderCon? Right now, I'm planning on 30 bucks for, for the small guy, 50 bucks for the big guy. Just because... Potentially I mean, including pencils. Including pencils. Definitely including pencils. Because <laughs> they are hand-painted. They're, they're expensive to, to make, so... I mean, hey, I'll, you don't have to justify it to yeah. us. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I love That's the little fantastic. ink splatter stuff. It's yeah. really cool. Do you have your booth number yet? Oh, I do. It's, uh, it is. Bop, 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 bop. I believe it's <laughs> insert booth number there. One one four five eleven forty five. Great. If I just be, be sure wrong. though, check the show notes at toybreak.com and check squidkidsinc.com. Yes. And but somebody will have it. So this is all you're gonna have? Nope. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. But they're so cute. And they're all ink splattered. Eee! I like so, ink splattered toys. Actually, I like ink to, splattered anything. Yeah, I do too. Do I've been wanting to do this for a while. You bought a car? I bought a car years ago. <laughs> and it has paid off, thank God. This is a new keychain. And I've designed six new keychains. Holy moly. You can't just do one. 
So this is no siri. Oh, these are the so good. First time. <laughs> so cool. Ever to get some new so analog figures? I've done. Oh my god, they're like so analog. Three new Atari based <laughs> figures. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fingers. These are so cool, Nate. So they're they're all metal. They're so heavy, like not too heavy to like have in your pocket, yeah. but they have that good keychain feel. Let's see the package one real quick. I think Fancy. It's awesome. Look at that. Fancy bits. A little hang tag. So what characters do we have here? So in we, have, we have some Tendo. of these haven't been seen. No, yeah. So we have Tendo. None of them have okay. arms and legs. They're just the bodies with their eyes Tendo. engraved in. And then we have A Drive, the floppy disk. The 3.5 inch yes. floppy disk, not the 5.25 floppy exactly. disk. And then we have B Side. He has a cassette tape. And then I have three kids. You may not remember yeah. these. We used to listen to music on these. Way back when. <laughs> And I have three different Atari cartridges. So way back when Atari apparently didn't have a standard design, like right. different publishers would have a, a, a unique design for their all of their games. So this is kind of the standard one. This this one looks. This one had Frogger on it, mm, and yeah. I remember that a GI Joe game. And then this one. I'm, I can't remember what labels this had, but it's... Oh, didn't that have, like... Didn't that have, like, Breakout adventure? and stuff? Probably. I, I have them I at home, I feel like some of the I, generic I, ones were yeah. on there, like... And I have another one. I have two others designed, but not ready to release yet. But. Ooh. Wait a minute. Where's my Sega Master System cartridge? I haven't modeled that one. Ah but I did just finish modeling up Super Nintendo and Ooh. N64. Nice. So That's those, exciting. But... I like the keychains because I can actually afford to make them and yeah. get other characters out there because everybody knows it's been years and I haven't got... They may not know. It's been a while. <laughs> but I'm finally getting some new characters out there and it feels good to... This is exciting. It's them. also expanding and introducing you know, people to the So Analog yeah. family. So it's not... In case you don't know, it's not just the Tendo. Yeah. It's, it's quite a whole a few family. More. So, and there are two different finishes that I'll have at WonderCon. One's kind of shiny, and one's more of a kind of a brushed aluminum looking. I like them both so much. So, people can pick and choose, that see which one awesome. sells better. All right, so how much are these guys going to be? Or do you have to tune into SquidKidsInc.com I think, to find out how I much? think they're going to be 10 bucks each. Okay. I'm really hoping to have them at that price and, and not lose money. Once you feel them, you're going to be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, when you just see them in like, this package a picture. like this, like, made in, all made in the USA. Yeah. Boom, right Very on the back. Very happy about that. Um, local, local LA. I was say, all made in LA. Yeah. It's not even US, it's Los Angeles. That's so cool, Nate. Yeah. Very happy about that. It's yeah, yeah, a really look, great idea. But so are they these. terrific. That's also true. Although, all made in the US. Not LA. Yeah, Orange County. All made in California. And Still made in the USA. Southern California. Yeah, they look awesome. I love the I love how everything's like all the details are still in there and like I mean this there's so much detail in this little disc. I may it's, have to buy one for It's amazing. Me. Or two. Uh, okay. Do you know a guy? I know a guy that <laughs> might make these. Might have some. But which stuff. one? I don't know. I like them all. I really like the cassette yeah. B side. I really hope to be able to do some kind of deal if people buy one of each they get a discount Ooh. or something. How many is there? Six? There's six right now. But then if I do the two finishes, there are actually 12 different ones. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if people are going to buy into it deep, but they'll have options. So. You know what else I like is because they're metal, like all my plastic keychain, my toys that I put on my keychain, they all fall apart. All my Lego guys, yeah. you lose a hand, then you use both hands, then the leg goes away. Then like they're just a head on a stick it's hard to point. decide which one i want like there's know, so many cool but these ones. aren't gonna break these are just metal that's, yeah, that's awesome true. well and they're, they have kind of a zipper pull um keychain on there so hopefully if you buy more than one it doesn't just have to go on your keychain it can go, go on, your backpack. on a backpack or hoodie or whatever so trying to make it as universal as possible very cool awesome. oh you could use it as a pole for your light oh so many options <laughs> Three. No, I'm just kidding. You can put it anywhere. So yeah, lots, cool. lots going on at WonderCon this year. I'm very excited about all the new stuff you have. I might even have a new banner. 
<laughs> Let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. I don't. Anymore. I don't that's, even that's know not, you anymore, sir. That's not over ninety percent done yet. So, <laughs> so, so no teasing. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget to follow Squid Kids Inc. on uh, Instagram. Instagram. Yes. <laughs> that's where most stuff goes up first. It's easiest. I think that's true for a lot of people now. Yeah. A lot of Instagram happenings. I feel like since it seems popular, there must be something even new coming out. Like, newer than Instagram soon. Yeah, I'm probably behind the times. Already. I feel that way. I'm How about old. you, George? I don't feel like that at all. What do you feel like? I feel like wine box. Do you guys know what time it is? Wine box time! <laughs> what do we have today for wine box, George? Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Today we have some Transformers, more than meets the eye. Uh, this is series one made by Loyal Subjects, and this is uh, Transformers. I, in honor of B-Side being right in front of me, I oh. want Soundwave. <laughs> There's so many options, but how can you not want Prime? Because I want Soundwave? Or Grimlock. I'll be more than happy with Primer and Grimlock. More than meets the eye, happy. No, George. I don't care which George, one I get. I don't care about play Transformers. The game. Play the game. You love it. Uh, Bumblebee. Ah. Tuna? <laughs> Bumblebee tuna. You really don't like Transformers? I mean, I don't I don't hate Transformers. I like, you yeah, know. Yeah, but once Marky Mark's in it, I'm going to love it. I'm going to watch that. <laughs> He wasn't oh, okay, I actually got anymore. the one I care about. I care about him. You didn't? No, I didn't. This isn't the right guy. Who is it? Did you just think that that was Bumblebee? No. I thought that because that was on the front, I got that guy. Oh. I, feel like we should... I got Thundercracker. Oh, I don't know who that is. No, maybe you should open this one. I was wrong. Oh. Oh, I was wrong. What do you, what do you know? <gasps> I got Thundercracker! I got Optimus Ooh, Let me just point out. Oh. This is awesome. Whew. Whew. Smells like... It's got a nice Cancer. little glued fold over, so you don't have to like fight with the baggie of extras. Really? That's pretty cool. Oh, I it like does. That. But mine has a pointy gun, so I can just open it. Hey, this looks like he's about to go cock something. It's high class. Oh. It looks a... like the cocking gun that you like oh, cock yeah. the shower with I or window. I, I wasn't sure what you were saying. C a u l k. Hulk. Ugh, you boys. It's an odd angle. Okay. So, I was actually lucky enough to see these being made in the factory in China. Oh, oh did yeah? you? Way back when, when I got a nice little tour. And, uh, they turned out good. Oh, wow. It's not just the shoulder that's articulated. The little elbow is articulated. So, you yeah. can swish the hand, turn the hand around. Oh, odd. The... Feet are articulated, well, legs, and the head. So he's got this weird flat little body <laughs> that stays in the middle. I wonder how many parts are reusing. Oh, good call. Interesting. It seems like these are definitely body, arms, legs. Yeah. All the same, just different heads. Do you have a circle on the side? Circle well, on the side of your feet? Yeah. Different body, because he's got attachments. Same pants. Wings. But he's just, they're just holes drilled in it. Oh. So yeah, same body and then they drill holes. Cool. Smart. Smart. Except he's for this cute. one's not. There we go. These are cute. The paint looks really good on mine. It's no fun, go. <laughs> That's um, a good thing. <laughs> yes, it's a very good thing. He looks cool with wings. Like, adds, uh, yeah. it adds a lot to the character. I mean, That's awesome. He's a jet. He is a jet. When you're a jet, yeah, you're a jet through and through. Too. Uh, I hate these guns. I think these are terrible. My guy is ready to uh, I mean, weatherproof the windows. Yeah, the stylized version of their classic guns. But they're just enormous and dumb. Oh, you got him? Yeah. That's we, awesome. We both got who we want. Oh, that's cool. Apparently, you're not a believer. I'm not. And I don't care about this. Because he won't play the game. You're not a bumble lieber. Oh. Ugh. Something about a lemur? Yeah. Lemurs. What? <laughs> this is almost the same size as the original gun that he had. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Like this, these guns are way too big. They don't. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the guns. these. Are sh I don't. I think they're cute. I mean, I like the characters, obviously, because I enjoy Transformers. I, they're super blocky. They, they're like chibi and blocky. Yeah. It's like a different slash new. I don't know. Maybe not new, but you know, cute blocky style, which is nice. I don't know how much these go for. 
They're kind of pricey, Mine, I think. I want to say 15, they're like 10 13, to 15. They're or somewhere 15? In there. Definitely over 10. Probably 12 to 15. I, think. I don't know. People who are like Transformers are going to buy them. Yeah. That's all, that, that's all that matters. As a figure, I think they're well made and I enjoy them. I think they might be a little bit pricey. It's cool that it has this, their size the old school. Yeah. Like, they don't have the film, though. The little red yeah. decoder thing. I have some 3D glasses on my desk. <laughs> I don't know. What Optimus if they had been? The strongest. What if they had put a heat changing? That would have been awesome. That would Symbol. bring it would over that have the like, top. Shh. Oh, that would that would be amazing. Like that's what this should have. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like if you're gonna do a that Transformers thing and you're gonna make a designer version of it, like. Or what if it just came with a sticker and you could put it on the guy, or you could just keep it for yourself? No, it should be on the figure. Like. Yeah, because you're not customizing these. Right? Yeah, that no, would be that would I have don't been think amazing. To go it's that extra cool idea, step right? and just put that like heat sticker on there. Right on his forehead. Just put it on their back. That's fine. Forehead. On their forehead. <laughs> or on the back of the head. Big flat back of the head. Of course they do have Decepticon symbols all over him. I guess maybe that was Auto. Does mostly... he have any He doesn't have any. Yeah, he does. Well, it's on, on his arm. little his arm. His arm. I don't know. I, don't I, would know. Put I, it I right love on. that. They're pretty cute though. That pretty sticker cute. was amazing. Yeah. All right, so sticker would be awesome, but they're pretty cute on their own. It also could be something that they might not have been able to do. It's completely possible. You never know what rules. I, I do rules. not know about rules. Pew, 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 you know? pew, pew, pew. I do, however, know about reviews. Let's review something. So this one, wait, pass that little one on top. So this, mm -hmm. I'll open this while you're opening that. Because this is something that came out years ago from Kozik. Um, so... Which thing are we talking about first? We're we'll talking about that big thing. <laughs> Let's just have Nate doing what Nate's doing. I think That's we're amazing. Have, we have Nate My doing sombrero. what Nate's doing. I think we're done. Like, Gold. Toy break is done. Internet it doesn't Gold. get better than this. It just got better. <laughs> okay, who wants to go first? So, Beach. Uh, so, uh, back in, I think it was December... We had a contest with 3D Retro for a gold Dead Kozik bust, but what we have here is the red Dead Kozik bust. It is a 13-inch vinyl bust. It went for $200. No, Can you no, still no, buy no, the red? No, 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 no. No, the red was a Kickstarter exclusive. Kickstarter exclusive. Um, I don't know if the red and glow in the dark, I think, were Kickstarter exclusives. I don't know if it still is. <laughs> um, you and Frank have the same size head. Apparently. <laughs> So this was, I was a background Kickstarter. I got this in. Uh, it came a little bit later than the other ones because something happened in the red when the factory when they did it and they made the wrong red. So they had to send it back and oh get no. the, the good red cast. So it took a little longer to get here. But uh, here it is in red. And I figured while I was getting that, um, I would also pick up one of the original Kozik anarchy symbols. Like on his head. Ah. Like the symbol on his I'll face. I'll hold it up behind there and then you can really see it. Um, Look at that. Ooh. I always, I don't know, I always kind of like this, but I never really had a reason to have one. Um, but I, I do like that this is a, it can either stand on your shelf that or, is. Uh, it is. Yeah. Uh, or it also has a hole and you can hang it on your wall and you got a little anarchy sign on your wall. I find it amusing that you're buying an anarchy symbol. It's true, you should steal yeah. it. That's pretty funny totally to me. Totally ironic, right? If you ever see it somewhere, <laughs> you should just steal it instead. Unless it's from your favorite store, then don't steal from them. Random TM. <laughs> like you could trademark the anarchy symbol. Hey, that if anybody has trademarked two. it, it's Frank. Because huh? it says Kozik and it says whatever. Jumung Maybe it's just on there. Jumungo. Wow, this is old. old you're tiny. a Jumungo. It's an old tiny thing. Yeah, classic. see, you must be if, you're gonna, if you're going to get one of these busts, you got to get the Kozik anarchy symbol to hang with it. Yeah. If you get one of these busts, you can pick Kozik's nose. Yeah, not a nose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so that was enough of that. We've seen it before. Enough. Um, if but you if you want have other, one, you could also pet Kozik. They have these in other colors. Well, Some of our sponsors mm -hmm. have it. It's like um, petting a cat or something. Like I think Suburban Vinyl got a color. So check your local store, see if they got a color. Um, cool. There he is. Be great for Halloween. I kind of wish that it had, <laughs> if it it had come out in the original scale that it was supposed to come out, which is smaller, when I backed right? it. Yeah, it was smaller. Really? Um, it's kind of bulky. Like I, I would have preferred the smaller, the original sculpt, 
better than the blown up version. Is it going to fit in one of those Detoff IKEA know. things? I'm going to probably put it on eBay. Womp, womp, <laughs> I want the smaller <laughs> one. I don't want a giant one. I don't that know. is a weird thing that you, when you back something on Kickstarter, don't uh, you, prove it. You may think that you're getting one thing, and that, but it may change over time. Yeah, it's th that's just how the project may have evolved. They may have even said before Some the ground. bidding was done that it was going up in scale, and I just didn't back out. But whoa! Oh, I was just saying it was. That's the worst thing you can do. Is I don't like out. to back out of the Kickstarter project once I back it. No, it that's not cool. Dreams. It does. Like that's it makes a cool. person feel sad about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking from experience on this couch. All right, what else do we have, George? Uh, all right, up next we got. Uh, this was one of our forum members. Um, oh, that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. His name is Neil Subal or Subal. Um, his he goes by Plastic Your Mother on the forum, <laughs> and he made a character called Serio Monster, and I have a a oh I get it fondness for Cheerios. Um, you do. So they help you fight used to, heart disease. He used to have a picture of Cheerios, like it was literally just a picture of like a Cheerios spilling out into a bowl. In your kitchen. To be fair, my dad took the photo. It was a photo oh, <laughs> I didn't Wait. know that. I just saw a picture of Cheerios. I was What's like, that wow, that's interesting. Uh, it's resin. Um, and he's got... Look at him, he's like he a sent ghost. sent along this little piece of... He's like a fat ghost, milk ghost. Oh, that's his front. He sent along a little He's going to fight your squib. He's ah. got candy corns in there. You don't know what's going to be in your cereal. <laughs> <gasps> Does he have a little butt? Oh my gosh, there's so many things. He's got a butt. You send along a little piece of Sculpey so that you can just have him holding the spoon. <laughs> spoon! But I don't know, I just thought that was pretty awesome. Like, I, I, I like the concept of this guy. I almost want to see him. I'm Years ago, in like, probably early 2000s, I molded some Cheerios just to see what they would like, <laughs> just to see how it would go. Shocking, George molded food. And, uh, I almost Cheerios. wouldn't want to see it made out of, like, real Cheerios. Yeah. I know oh, it would have scale. to be. It would have to be a little bit bigger. It doesn't have to be a full size, you know, bowl of Cheerios. But it would be cool to see it, like, because the Cheerios have so much texture and so much. Yeah. Uh, they're really cool when you mold them. I don't know if I knew that you were this fascinated with Cheerios. I'm a big fan of Cheerios. I can't eat them anymore, but I'm a big have fan of them. We need to figure loop, out some gluten free. The fruity Cheerios. I have not. They taste just like Fruit Loops. Really? Except, for, except for you feel like you're healthier because they're Cheerios. A little less sugar. So it must be okay. Yeah, obviously. Except when I eat Cheerios, I pour like half a carton of sugar on them. <laughs> but those you don't have to because they're sugary fruit. This, was, this was a little shocking when we got the package. It oh, came what's with, this stuff? came with a couple of things. What? Now, one of the things <laughs> it came it with... Color? No. Was a bootleg of our figure. Interesting. I, kind of not the person to send that to. Like. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting way to cast it. It also, hey, don't bootleg yeah, our yeah. figures. Hey, so I, I wrote to him and asked him. He said, oh, no problem. Like, he's not, he's not selling them. Like, he was just kind of doing it as, like, his mold, old, own molding practice. Yeah. bootleg -oed. But, like, don't bootleg our things and then send it to me. bootleg like, I'm not a fan of bootlegs. What about bootleg It kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, you can't build with it any longer. You can use it as a base. It's other Lego. Will if you're stick just to it. if you just need sometimes when I pour resin, there's extra resin laying around, and I need a mold to pour it into. This is what he uses. He's I don't got know Lego things. Why and... I would want this? They're kind of fun though. Sure. Like they have a good like smooth feel. This is the real thing. Okay, yeah. Back to Serio. Those other things. Are Which just I gotta say, when I didn't happen. know what it was, I was like, "What's a Serio?" But now I get it because it's cereal. Serio monster. And O's. Um, I guess so, I feel like he should have. Because he knows how to mold and cast. He should have molded and cast the Cheerios. Not like a real Cheerio, but sculpted one. Because mm. these are all like wonky shaped. And I I, I personally want to see like uniform Cheerios all over him. Not because they look like they could be donuts or do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, like, he's coming out of a bowl. I know, but. They're different sizes and. Uh. I find the scale of the whole thing interesting because at first I thought it was a minifigure, which technically, I mean, it's smallish, but it's a little bit larger than a regular, you know, like it's a muscle. Bigger than or what OMFG mat. would be. Yeah. The other suggestion is like. I like it. Do something about the pouring 
like sand it off or cap it off so it's clean because to me that's unfinished yeah that like, is something that a lot of and these are they're open molded open yeah, bottom mm-hmm. molds yeah so they're bowing out and it i mean belt sand it do something just to finish yeah, it off that's a to, good that's a good um piece of advice for people out there making their own thing is to take the time to finish the bottoms take the time to finish the piece um if you're pouring with an open bottom, sometimes you know you'll get that weird bubble where it overfills yeah. a little. Um, something like this obviously doesn't matter, but if you're to make this a professional piece, you would then take it to a belt sander, grind it flat. You could even do it yourself yeah. on a piece, you know, or piece of sandpaper. Even when it's molding, I think we talked about it. My first episode was uh, get a piece of plexiglass or something, put and Vaseline it. on it, cap it, and mm-hmm. you know. I Maybe think they this don't know the tips and tricks, but two by four Lego might be like a new worry stone for me because it's got like <laughs> such a good smooth feel to it. Well, well you'll, you'll sand it down. Pocket. Just send them to Aileen. She'll she'll take. I am it. not sanding anyone's <laughs> resin. I don't even want to sand my own resin. <laughs> that is the worst job in the universe. Yeah, it's, it's not a fun one. I will pour. I will mold. I will cast. I am not good at any of it, but I do not want to sand. Yeah. While we're talking about customs and came oh, in the mail, what's in there? Um, I what also I ordered a custom of Brocoddle. Brocoddle? What's Brocoddle? Brocoddle is a new minifigure from October Toys. Um, but October this was a Toys. customer custom by Ursico. Eric Sorrels. Cute. The little cute, cute, cute. Santa Brocoddle. Um, so good. I don't I don't know how he affords to send these and them these like fancy cases. Yeah, fancy cases. Is that your case or is no, that... it came in this like Oh my god. Yes, we get fancy cases for all of our individual Do you have minifigures. The original? Close not handy. Uh, yeah, there's it's one up, there. up on the top up there. Uh, oh, no, they're I'm far away. Do do <laughs> oh, it's too far. Oh, my back. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see this the, guy's great, how much he changed on it. Um, basically, he, he it added was. The belt I mean, it's solid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah, belt and hat, and then all the paint, obviously. Cute. Because he's got the beard and and everything on the yeah. original sculpt. So. Yeah. So that's, that's cool. awesome. He'll oh, go right okay. on the he shelf. Like Santa. Santa. And then one more thing that we randomly got in the mail. I wish I got random things in the mail. I get bills. <laughs> random bills? Kinda. <laughs> this came from Nobody Steve wants random bills. Ferrara. Oh. Steve. Steve Ferrara. This is my favorite thing. That's creepy already. I think you mean awesome already? Ah, it's broken. Nope, he caught it. He loves your show. That's over here. Look at this guy. Does this guy have a name? There was nothing in there that would have said. Nothing that indicated a name? No. I'm going to call him the herdsman. Ooh, nice. I bet if we went to steveferrara.com, you could probably be able to find out that we would find cat. information. A cat? Unless my cat hair is getting on there. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why would you guess that? Like, why would you Anything assume on that? the back of this one? These are business cards. No, steveferrara.com. Also, Instagram, Steve Ferrara. F-E-R-R-E-R-A. Let's talk about this little guy. Little, what, like three or four inch resin? Yeah, I can't tell if those are all fingerprints or intentional. It looks intentional. I like, it's got like a texture to it. But... There's some that no, are like straight up fingerprints. Like up here, some definitely are, yeah. intentional. But I mean, it it looks cool with the texture. So yeah, love that there's three feet because that means he's gonna stand up. Yep. Which is rad. I actually like the little hunchbacky guy, but the little like goat Weird head on a staff, sheep head, like is, or sheep head, is kind of my favorite thing. It's cute. He's cute, right? So thank you, Steve. And we can never get enough Steves. So many Steves. All right, we have more. More. What do we have next? Up next, we have Walking Dead action figures. All right, so. Are you going to be all crazy about opening these? Make it pretty. <laughs> Keep it pretty. All right, so these are from McFarlane. These are, of course... Oh, good. Excellent. One's already open. Would you like to open it? Sure. We're going to try to do this spoiler-free of comic or TV show. So these are based off of the TV show. Dope. Correct. This one you can't Actually, really do spoiler-free, because if you haven't caught up to this episode, 
then it's well, that's too the late. thing. Like, it's spoiler free, but we can't toy free. Like, if we have to talk about the figure. So if this isn't really this is Merle as a zombie. <laughs> oh, spoiler guess... alert: zombie. Merle's a zombie. <laughs> I think you have to be pretty far behind to not know that. Well, there might be somebody who's far behind. So why didn't you say spoiler alert first? Spoiler. Because you said that we were not going to spoil things, and I said we were. Do you notice these? Plastic twist eyes? Yeah. Weird. I haven't, I've never seen that. I don't like these at all. They're not twist tie. Oh, wait. Yeah, they are. They are. They twist tie. Yeah. Oh. I think it's good. Uh. Gotta be cheaper than the metal ones, right? I don't know. You think so? I don't know. I don't like the way they feel. Yeah. I don't like the way they Look. This is weird. I, I, there's no like extra accessories or anything. Like, it's I just got a, you got a gas can. Usually they come with so many accessories. Kind of silly because he doesn't hold it. That's just garbage around him while he's walking. And again, if you're not caught up, sorry, it's a charred zombie. Which it is molded translucent red. Oh wow! Oh. Look at that. But it's so dark and heav heavily painted that you really can't tell like right it's yeah all right so i know you already spoiler alert said uh, merle's a zombie here but if you didn't if the eyes weren't painted like that there's nothing zombie about this figure yeah he just got some blood on him bloody merle <laughs> oh his wrist is unfortunate i know what is that what? i don't understand why that's it? there no i mean it, it why functions is it such it, a little it weird just wrist isn't painted so it doesn't match. I don't understand why it's like that. Like, what happened? They might have... How did that extra little wrist just get in there unpainted? I mean, they might not have painted it. Like, obviously they didn't paint it, but there might be a batch of them that don't have wrists painted. That's so weird. Or one slipped through. This is just strange, because he's not really in a pose to stand. Maybe he's supposed to be... Let's see if we can... Like, on the ground next to this... Thing on fire? I don't know. Oh, Merle, I'm a racist. Spoiler alert. So now one of the things that yeah, Nate noticed the other day when you were here and you were talking about these when is I was criticizing the, stuff. Uh, so a normal day. They're <laughs> called. It's called Merle Zombie and Charred Zombie. Yet on the show, the zombies don't exist. They don't call them zombies. So why aren't these called? You know what? Walker Merle or Merle Walker. That's because they would think it was Johnny named Walker's brother. It's Moral Walker. <laughs> How about Charred Walker? Some people may not have watched uh, some of the stuff with Robert Kirkman to explain why they don't use the word zombie yeah. in the show. So, in a world where zombies haven't even been thought of, that's exactly it. It's supposed to be like apparently Walking Dead takes place in a sort of an alternate reality where it's, everything is the same as our reality. Except pop culture doesn't exist. Zombie, like there's no zombie cartoons, there's no zombie movies. There's just zombies don't exist, which makes me wonder, like, do werewolves and vampires and Bigfoots, big feet? No cryptozoology no or whatever that's called. Exactly. So. What a boring world. Funny that they call them zombies, yeah. not walkers. Yeah. Yeah, they really should. I feel like it's a miss, personally. Yeah, they should have so been called walker. At, at keeping it. Like a self-contained world of walkers and roamers and whatnot. But maybe if you called it, but maybe by calling it zombie, it attracts people that don't even watch the show. Yeah. And you're like, oh, it's a zombie. And I want it. I think some grandma or aunt will buy it for their nephew. Yeah. Like, oh, nephew Joey <laughs> likes zombies. Little Johnny loves zombies. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that's what it is. It's appealing to mass market, even though it, it is these are meant for people to watch the show more, gonna, more than anybody else i'm gonna change my last name to zombie so it will be <laughs> alien zombie oh wait rob zombie already did yeah he's already a rob zombie. never mind there already is something maybe so maybe merle zombie yeah maybe he's not related to johnny walker at all he's related to rob <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing about these two is they have those clicky joints but like yeah. it clearly shows through on his pants like which is now weird. when you they say put... clicky joints do you mean a ratchet sure sure i call them clicky Technical. joints <laughs> okay let's <laughs> Because they paid attention to his hips, like hiding that joint yeah. a lot. But then and when it comes down to the knees, they're like, meh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Who needs to hide it? They lost momentum. Yeah. <laughs> I like these figures. Uh, the, I mean, the likeness is really good. Even though it's a zombie version of Merle, it's still a really Do good Do you really likeness. think that's a zombie version? 
as zombie as I get. It's a walker version, sorry. <laughs> what yes, are you saying? Yeah. I meant it just looks like Merle. It doesn't really look like a zombie. You watched the show, right? This is after he turned into a walker. Right, but like this looks like a zombie. Spoiler alert. This is he's fresh. It's a fresh. I get it, but it's kind of a lame just remake of the Merle action figure. Good. They need to get their money out of the tooling. <laughs> I'm so, all for that. So oh, he came guy. with a base? That's good. Yeah. Okay, so this good. guy, lots of articulation. This guy None. No. Nothing. Next one to, arm. Next one arm. Same same price. Yeah. Same everything. A can, trash, gas can. Gas can. I, I just feel like he's a statue. This guy's a an statue action with action with a statue. Parts. I mean, he's statue. got he's got a leg that could both legs could move kind yeah, of. Yeah, not no in a natural. You could go into not pee, even a zombie natural pee mode. Way. <laughs> Why is that pee mode? Because his knees like are going together and he's got a pee. Oh, oh, I see. I thought he was peeing on it like a hydrant, oh, like that's a dog. Awesome. Yeah, it is basically a statue though. His head's actually articulated really well. And this one's just a flat cut. Yeah. Like, that's obviously all the money Different. went into this guy. And not that guy. He's clear, though. Let's look at something else. All right. Let's look at something else. Um, oh, we are more Walking Dead. These are... Um, is that the same figure? I don't want to see that figure if that's that figure. It is the same. It is the same. Well, no, it's just the, the comic black and white. Version. Oh, okay. So these are... Um, <laughs> Spoiler alert. These are made by McFarlane Toys, but actually made by Skybound. These are Skybound exclusives. Um, Skybound and who is, is Skybound? The, Skybound is the company that puts out The Walking Dead. It's Robert Kirkman's company. Yeah. Um, and When you say puts out The Walking Dead, you mean the comic? Walking Dead comic book. These are, these are TV show Walking Dead... Um, and this is based on the comic book version of the character. So you don't know this character yet, so we won't get into who he is. I've, I've heard the name. I haven't seen the face. Um, but oh, Negan God. is pretty badass if you read the books. And he comes with the best part of it, Gosh. Lucille, which is awesome. When your baseball bat has a name, you know things are serious. That's cool. I'm so close. I mean, they've... They've talked about him. But we won't that. say what he does or anything, but... I'm assuming he hits people with a baseball bat. People? <laughs> I mean, I one of the other... people. One of the other cool <laughs> accessories that I don't think Aileen's even up to yet in her book. I'm probably not up to uh, that. He also comes with the flat iron, which is pretty amazing. Oh, and you'll get to that eventually as well. Wow, oh, these are cheap. He's got the same knee situation. I can't even put his the thing in without breaking a finger so he's got a loose don't don't hurt his fingers anymore so don't oh, do that. he broke his finger well that's not his bat he's from a different universe <laughs> obviously here where's it go out? how <laughs> hey <laughs> so that's actually a really good likeness of negan <laughs> he's got fat neck though <laughs> it's uh, it's perfect it's oh, actually really? like yeah, yeah he's just a block oh like his character is just a a brick of a dude. That's I mean, really here's cool. here's the... Yeah. I mean, but this makes him look, like, chubby, not, like, strong. That has good detail on it. So, where can people get this one? Uh, you'd probably have to go to the Skybound site or check them out at conventions. Uh, I think it's just skybound.com. Yeah, skybound.com or thewalkingdead.com. Thewalkingdead.com. And I'm sure at thewalkingdead.com you can find out where to get all these other guys, and there's a ton of other Walking Dead action figures and... Uh, but if all you do want Negan, you got to go to the Skybound stuff. Get it from them directly. Because it won't with, be in stores. Same with the minifigs. Same with the minifigs that they make as well. Oh, his knife goes in his little sheath. Nice, huh? Get all stabby up in here. Stab. Stabby up in here. All right, we have one more thing. And I feel like I'm going to mispronounce it. Okay. Do you know how to say it? I, I have a way I would say it. Kabuto Mushi? That's how I would say it. Mushy. Um, hey, I hope that's right. Here he is. Mushy. Ah. Alright, so this is from the God Beast. It's a PVC Glyos compatible figure based on the Japanese rhinoceros beetle. It's got 26 total parts. It goes for $12 over at godbeast.com. You can check that out, check out the shop. A bunch of versions of this are already sold out, but I believe there is a silver version still available right now. And probably more in the works. Yeah, I mean, I the, this is only the second time, uh, these new colors are the second time he's released it. Um, and the newest colors were these, uh, this glow-in-the-dark, 
um, blue. silver, Ooh. blue, purple, and a black. That blue and purple are um, nice. They're like pearlescent. And each one of the big figures, the one that Nate's holding there, um, comes with the little version of him. Ooh. A little single. Look at that cute. Oh, I like the little guy. Yeah. Like a little roly poly. Does she just want to eat him? He's so cute. And uh, these are all, I don't know if Aileen, did you ever say, these are all Glaus compatible. Yes. Um, and and guys which means, out. which uh -huh. means you know, they come apart into a bunch of different pieces. I like this guy so much more than the big guy. You know how some people wear flowers in their hair? Maybe I should start yeah. wearing, like, toys in my hair. Hell yeah. Did you say hell yeah to that? Yep. I love <laughs> toys the, everywhere. I love this, like, I don't think he's gonna stay. crazy head. Oh, yeah. there we go. But he's also got this other... Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> He's also got this other head you could put on him. That's cool. Little like spider head, little bug head. You could change it around. Um, I like the insect, you know, idea. Yeah, it's a fun. I feel design. like ironing. There you go. <laughs> Toys use them as accessories. So these are great. Uh, it's twelve dollars, and it comes with the big guy and the little guy. So it's like it's two figures. Ten and two. Is that how you break it up in your mind? That's how I break it up. What if it's 11 and 1? Or 1050 and 150? 10 and 2. 1025, 175. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, go check these out. Thegodbeast.com. Um, I think that's the right. Oh, just godbeast.com. Thegodbeast.blogspot.com. The um, blogspot. Yeah, so check these out. Grab some. Comes with a little art card. It's kind of neat. I Look like these little all. guys. They're fun Huge. to build with. I like these guys are awesome. Yeah, the little dudes are my favorite. I, this is a pretty rad guy, though. It like, is, and these yeah, pieces work cool. because Great of the, the the chunkiness and and you the know the bulkiness of it is pretty awesome. Yeah, like you get flow lines and and all that because of the plastic and the material, but it adds. It's it, almost intentional. Yeah, though, it like. adds to this kind of character yeah. for sure. It looks like more detail rather than yeah. Like look at the like. Quality. Even on the little one, it has all the little oh, pearlescent yeah. silver and everything. It's got a little tail. Um, but these pieces work really well, I found, with the um, with the spy monkey guys. Oh, yeah. Because they're, of manga. Because they have that bigger aesthetic, like that bigger blockiness. <laughs> Aw, he's riding him. He's like looking at the parade. <laughs> no, they're worshipping the I'm larger I'm animal. I'm surrounded. No, they're like, ooh, ooh ah. So pretty. <laughs> All right, let's get into some events. Right around the corner is Toydom's King Toofus. You can see custom toy sculptures and paintings by Tim Clark at Toy Art Gallery in Los Angeles, California, April 5th at 7 p.m. Toyartgallery.com. Yes. Yes. You want to do this one? WonderCon! <laughs> That's all I got. That's it. Wonder Come see That's Nate. That's all I can read. Come see Nate. I can't read. Read? This is all memorized. <laughs> Comic and Popular Art Convention at Anaheim Convention Center in Anaheim, California, April 18th to the 20th, comic-con.org. Look for Nate at the Squid Kids, Inc. booth. We Hooray! Have, we have other people. Jerome's there. Hyperactive Monkey's there. Oh, okay. nice. Um, Bait is there. I don't know who else. Not in your booth, though. They're I think at Puso, WonderCon. Puso at, their own, yeah. at their own booths. All in the same general area. D-Corner. So. D-Corner will probably be yeah. there. <laughs> Patrick Ballesteros. <laughs> All sorts of exciting people. We will be there, but just hanging out in a booth. Yeah. Vine We're going to go sit at the Squid Kids Inc. booth. Yeah, you can come hang out. I'll have <gasps> things to sell. Ooh, maybe we can help. <laughs> just throw stuff at people. And also take their money from yeah. them. But right after... WonderCon is C2E2, the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. It's bringing the best of pop culture to the South Building at McCormick Place in Chicago, Illinois, April 25th to 27th, c2e2.com. Have you ever been? Haven't. Would really like to go. I haven't been. I would really like to go check it out. I would too. I Let's drive. Let's drive out and check yikes. it out. Yikes. Let's do it. Right after WonderCon? Yeah. You're not doing anything. I'm going to New York. Not that weekend. Not that weekend. Don't tempt me. <laughs> oh, I'm tempting you. <laughs> it's going to be a toy break road trip. Oh, that would be awesome. Let's go. Should we get a Winnebago? If, I wish we could afford a Winnebago. I don't think we can afford a Winnebago. But <laughs> Does anyone want to sponsor a toy break road trip? Get us a Winnebago how and we about, will tour the U.S. How about a Scion? We'll come to a city. Yeah. We'll film with you. 
We'll film a toy break at your house in our Winnebago or we in your house. Maybe steal an SUV. Maybe we can steal Ben's car. Steal. I mean, bar- borrow. borrow. Ben. Rent a Winnebago. Let's do this. <laughs> Toy break in the USA. All right. Well, that is it for oh, episode awesome. 301. Don't forget, you can save money with Toy Break coupons online. You can check the show notes at toybreak.com for all the details, as well as links to everything we talk about, like Squid Kids Inc. right here. Squid Kids also... Link. <laughs> link. Ha ha. You can also watch past episodes. You can join in the contests and the discussions on the forum. It's a virtual wonder playground for you. <laughs> wonder playground. Wonder con ground. So many things going on. Uh, you can also help support the show by doing what you do every day, which is just shopping on Amazon. Just go over to toybreak.com, click the Amazon link, and do your shopping as normal. Help it really the does show. help. So that's awesome that you guys are doing it. If you're not doing it yet, check it out. Try it out. doesn't change your price at all, but it does help our show. Yay. Thank you so much to everybody who takes the time to take the couple extra clicks. Also, you can call and leave us a voicemail, 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can check out our toy briefs, our toy girls, and, of course, our full, full toy break episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. And we have the uh, the 24-hour show is finally up. Oh, nice. Five. From from January, so. So if you missed that and you want to catch up or if you really fell asleep for a minute. Hours. I can go back and watch the stuff where I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you can also follow us on Twitter at what? Toy Break. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. Squid Kids Inc. At Nate Gaspar. At. No, not Gaspar. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not official. Aw, you can be official. <laughs> Adopt me. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it for 301. Thank you so much for being here. 301 in the books. Is this, what, do you know what number this is for you? Four or five. It's been like... Wow, you're a regular. It's been like six months since I've been here. Though. After like three episodes, so you're big. It's Comic-Con. just a regular. Do you remember your first episode? What number it was? I think it was 160. One 160? Something. We're going to have to go nice. back and look. Awesome. It was one Very something. Cool. Well, thank I you think. for the hundreds of episodes for taking yes. time out and coming over here. Yes, yes. Coming to the it's been I- fun. I- massive studio. Thanks for helping Sharing me your show toys. off my stuff. Absolutely, and don't forget to check out his stuff at WonderCon, Squid Kids Inc. You can check it out online, check him out on Instagram, all that stuff. And we will see you next week, same toy time, same toy channel. Bye, everyone! Bye-bye.